Head. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, this is Billy Ray Valentine calling you from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where the wonderful movie in 1983 was filmed called Trading Places. Folks, what we're looking at today in the Dow Jones, uh, Dow Jones is up, the S&P is up, the NASDAQ is up, the Russell is up. Uh, we've had one of the strongest days we've had in the last 25 years, weeks, months, however you want to look at it. But we think we're looking at some pretty interesting cycles that are coming due uh, any time now. We've had a pretty big one here just the other day, but the uh, market came right back. Oh, we tracked more than 78% of the move uh, in the Dow Jones and also in the NASDAQ, but not so much in the uh, uh, not now the S and P and the Nasdaq were a little stronger than the Dow, but that's we're in an area where there's just a lot of a lot of things happening. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that uh, our guest today is Peter Elides, a all long, long time friend, just about 58 years. I've known Peter, and uh, he is a world class uh, technician, and he certainly has uh, helped me a lot along the way. And he's going to be talking to us about the market. Uh, and the way that uh, he sees it. Uh, that's the important thing. On Monday, guess what, boys and girls? Nobody's going to be here on Monday. But on Tuesday, we're going to have our good friend Norm Winsky of Astro Trends on. We've got a big full moon on that day, and we want to be talking about it. We just had the winter equinox here, uh, solstice, occurred here yesterday, the longest day of the year. And so we're over some major cycle stuff uh, that we're paying attention to uh, right now. So let's remind ourselves of that. Also, I want to remind everybody with Christmas week, try to do something for someone that needs it, folks. I know sometimes you see these people begging, and you, I know they're professionals, but uh, my goodness, I mean, I, I just don't know how people can go by without uh, trying to help some of these folks. Unfortunately, some of them get pretty vindictive in the situation that they're in, but I'm off my soapbox now, Johnny. Sorry, very much. Sorry. Back to the charts. If you look at this weekly chart here, folks, over the last three, look at these big ABCD swings in the Dow Jones. I mean, this is truly an amazing thing. So anybody that doesn't believe in patterns ought to take a look at this long-term weekly chart in the Dow Jones because they're everywhere. And, of course, we're coming up to some serious ones that we're facing uh, right now uh, in the Dow Jones, the S&P and the NASDAQ, but Dow Jones is by far the clearest going into new high ground. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Every 